This is a similar question. We're asked to calculate the work done, but there's a little twist in this one. The twist is that there's two sub-curves to worry about. Okay? Now, I did talk about this at the end of the last lecture, and I wasn't real happy with the example that I gave. So, I'm sort of killing, killing two birds with one stone here. All right. So, here, we're just working in the xy plane, and... I can draw or sketch my path using this little diagram. Note the direction. Remember, for line integrals, direction is important. Direction is important. Okay? So now what I have to do is choose parameterizations for C1 and C2, and then I'll separately work out the work on over both of these paths, and then add add the uh, the two quantities together. Okay, so here I'm going to let C curly C be defined by both C1 and C2. So to parameterize C1. It's just TT. Again, you can use that little algorithm that I showed you before. And for C2, curly C2, again, you can use the algorithm. All right? Notice that there's no change in... in the X component along C2. The only change is, is going in, in Y. Mm -hmm. So if you apply that algorithm, you'll get 1, 1 minus T. Again, you can choose different parameterizations if you want. It's up to you. Just make sure they're tracing out the curve in the correct direction. Okay, the reason I use these simple parameterizations here is that 0 and 1 are easy numbers to work with, right? Okay. So, let's calculate the, deriv the derivatives. C1 dash is going to be 1, 1. And C2 dash is going to be, what, 0 minus 1. So the last thing we need to do is evaluate f along these two parameterizations and then take the necessary, well, the, the dot products and then integrate. Okay, so f along C1, well, so I, I go here, x equals t, y equals t, so I sub in here and here. So I'm going to get something like t and t squared. And for f along c2, what am I going to get? Well, I'm going to get x equals 1, y equals 1 minus t. Okay, so we've got all the parts we need. Now we just take the corresponding dot products. Pretty easy. Okay, F, C1 of T, dotted with C1 dash. What's that going to be? That's going to be t, t squared, dotted 
with 1, 1. So we get t plus t squared. And doing the other dot product in a similar fashion. So that's going to be 1, 1 minus t squared dotted with, what's it going to be, 0 minus 1. Right? So we're going to get something like minus 1 minus t all squared. So all we need to do now is take the two integrals and we should get something like this. Okay, so this integral will be this integral here. Okay, so that's going to be something like um, this is going to be something like five sixth, right? That's from 1 to 0. Okay, what about the other integral? Okay, that's going to be something like like this. Okay. So minus one third. So to get to, to come up with our answer, we Add the two integrals together, okay? Hmm. Okay, so <coughs> So what are we gonna end up with there? A half. Okay, any questions so far?